Now, if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we want to understand how to manage a family, you know, a very big family, a family that is big on, on traditions. Now, please, let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wish Your Africa One with the hashtag we show, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 um, We'll also open the phone lines, but please, when you're calling in, turn down, turn up the volume of a television set and try to keep your contributions within a minute. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly call another video, you know, that she talked about, you know, the racism against her son. Stay with us. Um, just watch this clip. This one about you making Kate Middleton cry. This I heard about. You heard about that. That was a turning point. Did you make Kate cry? No. The no. reverse happened. Explain to us what you mean by that. A few days before the wedding, she was upset about something pertaining to, yes, the issue was correct, about flower girl dresses, and it made me cry, and it really hurt my feelings. So we have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? And I, I just didn't, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. So, I'm coming back to the issue of the color of the skin. See, if I'm marrying a white man, even before you come to tell me that my child will have um, a slightly darker color, I already know. So should that even be an issue? And that's why I'm saying that I tend to tilt towards the father. That should that even be an issue of conversation? Oh, yes. I know my child will be uh, mixed race. You understand? So that is not a concern for me. If it's going to be an issue for you, that's your headache. Shouldn't it not? Why do we try to over? For me, I think some of these things, we truly over exaggerate them. In all honesty. And these things, by the time you keep exaggerating it, it creates a very big gully that you cannot patch anymore. So we should stop being part of the people that are I, fueling I, this I, thing. My body is shaking. I want to talk. Ooh, ah, my Go body is shaking. I want to Go ahead. I remember clearly some years back when Megan was going to have baby Archie at that time and they were asking her questions about the kind of life, the kind of exposure she would like the boy to, to have when she finally has the boy. And I remember clearly that she said she did not want the boy in the limelight. She talked about title, that she did not want her child to take a title. She wanted to protect a child. Now, going fast forward to this interview, Oprah was clearly asking her about her relationship with Kate. From that, making cry or not making cry, she jumped to the issue of security. She jumped to the issue of, I didn't see the correlation. She just wanted to bring in that, um, what's it called? that um, conversation, because that was not the line of conversation. No, but I think she it was particularly, She particularly said she did not want title. She said she did not want security and all that. So I'm back. I remember that. So how did that conversation now come up again? No, but I think, the, I think this clip was edited, so it, it might have jumped you and, and all of that. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, think, okay. yeah, but let me take I, Richard, I, then I'll come to Jennifer. Thank you so much for calling Richard, our f frequent caller. <laughs> Good, good evening, guys. Thank you, Richard, for calling. Yes, um, two things quickly. Um, for Harry, Harry shouldn't have allowed this interview to take place. Thank you. In the first place. Mm -hmm. But from his body language and from the recent happening, you know that Harry wants to get back to the royal family for what he did to his mother. That's our side. Then, taking a cue from what Lamy said, Archie should be somebody that must be protected. No matter how you look at it, Archie is connected to the royal family. So no matter how Meghan and Harry want to be recalcitrant and live their life, Archie is connected to that family. He will grow up. He will see all this drama. It will help him form his opinion about whoever. So I think this interview should have taken place at all. Thank you, it was, it was needless. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much, Richard. Go ahead. Okay, so I agree with what um, Richard just said, that um, no matter what happens, no matter how much they cut ties with the royal family, when Archie grows up, Archie is going to decide on his own if he still wants to get back with the royal family. It is not up to Meghan 
or Harry. But um, talking about the fact that um, someone was being racist, now I understand that I'm getting married to a white man and my child is definitely going to have a mixed skin. Yeah. Now I am expecting um, people to say things, but then the thing is, it depends on the tone of your message. I can say, oh, your baby is going to be black. That's me just saying, the oh, context. His skin. Is it context? Is it context? There's a, um, okay, um, let me use this as an example. I, I, I got something from a vendor yesterday and um, it was salad. And this, it, it was quite small and I didn't like how it was looking. And I made a complaint. And then she said, oh, that's a serving. That's our salad serving. I took it like, why are you putting all? Oh? Why are you saying oh? I wasn't complimenting you about what you gave to me. I'm making a complaint. Now, if I was telling you, oh, your food is nice, oh, thank you. That's different. But saying, oh, that's a body language. It, 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 it's the context. It's the tone of your message. Oh. How did you say it? The other okay, day, so it's it, it how, it how it was passed, passed across. across. Okay, so, so how she took it mm. is different. So should we, should we say, because when we go back to our topic, Lamy, should we even marry into this kind of family? If you, because this Megan that you are saying, she's free-spirited. She's somebody that cannot, like me, oh, as, as I said earlier in the beginning, if now me, if I don't run since, now fly, I go fly. I will not even stay in that marriage. I will not even enter the marriage in the first place. This is why you will see that certain families will tell you that, sorry, we cannot, I will not allow you to take a wife in this family. Not because of anything. Sometimes when your cultures and your traditions are world apart. Now I understand when Lamy is saying that, please, she wants to re re maintain a, her children in a certain, uh, this is just to, it's to keep your sanity. Because they will always, this kind of issues will always come up. If it is not culture, in, in Nigeria, for instance, you will see Igbo people saying that they cannot marry Hausa or Yoruba cannot marry. It's not because of it, because they understand that our cultures are worlds apart. What I can tolerate and stomach, you might not be able to tolerate and stomach it. Do you understand? So why would you marry into a highly, because royalty is not beans. Royalty is not something you can just wake up and say you are, you are coming out of. It's blood, right? Why would you wake up? So why would you even go into that marriage? And if you must go into that marriage, what should be your mindset? You know, going into these kind of marriages. Personally, yeah. personally, see the thing is, I don't doubt that um, Harry and Meghan have an angle. I know Harry has an angle. He knows where he's playing at and what he's hoping to achieve from all of this. Meghan, the same thing. And I'm sure Megan knew everything about this family before she went in. Personally, for me, if you ask me, I would not get married to anyone in a royal family because there are lots of things. See, I'm very, very outspoken. And if you're looking for people who would not say anything say or yes, just ma. keep quiet or just say, yes, my dad is not me, I can't do it. So because I know myself and what and who I am, I know that we will not just like align. me now. I want to marry, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bishop, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, uh, Papa Adeboye's son. Wait, don't be troubled by the but fight. I, I, me, I, 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 I like I, to wear bomb shorts. I like to wear short nick. I like to, you understand? I like my freedom. It's trouble yeah. I'm looking for. Let me, let me hear you. Another thing that just crossed my mind, I was going to say is, to be very candid, between us, when you see Megan, does she cut you? As a black girl or a white girl, is it, do is you it. think she identifies with a black woman? She doesn't. I don't think so. I think she looks more white. She has never identified as black, so why is she now tossing the? the That's what I'm she's saying. not playing that. the racism card. The race card. Okay, wait, I don't wait, think wait, so. wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, let me say something. Me. Let me say something. Let me say something. Now, you might not, you might not, you might not identify as black. Yeah, doesn't mean that. Full on white people will see you that way. No, we are not. You are not, you're oh, not getting. You're not getting Lamy's point. I understand. I you're not understand. getting. You're not getting Lamy's point. Up until before this royal matter came, was she identifying herself as a black person? I've never. I, I, because I, I, I can't say. Now. I can't say because I, I don't think I've seen anything not, like that. See, that's online. why I'm saying that there is a card. There's an agenda, and if we I keep on doing that. all of these things, we keep fueling it. Right. During her wedding, who was the only member of Meghan's family? That attended her wedding was her mother. Isolated. I said, What kind of a girl is this? So her mother does not have a younger brother that could have accompanied her all the way from the US. Her mother does not have cousins. So we maybe she does maybe those are part of know. the royal rules that she is talking about. But you see, for me, I think, you know, because we'll never tell her not to so her that we don't lose. Not to 
a wedding. So that we don't lose we don't, track we of don't the conversation. Know, we don't know her relationship with her family. We only know about um, that of her dad and how estranged oh, they, so they are and what happened. Right there, we so don't her, know. Her, we her don't know. Family. So we can't speak on it. We can't. The reason why I see, there's a reason why I am talking like this because I have seen things that happen in family and I've seen how hurt and scarred people have been. Trust me, it is not pretty. It is not pretty. We are probably coming from, from a, a, a standpoint of privilege because maybe our own family was good and you're seeing. Who so you when that? you hear, see, there are some things that you probably see in your family uh -huh. that you feel like can be worked on. Jennifer, maybe it can that? be worked Let's on. Let's talk about family issues on TV. <laughs> Everybody has their family issues. That is, that, let me bring back our quote. Let, let me bring back let our quote for her. I have a very rocky relationship with my father. Thank you. But when I was going to get married, I still took my husband home. I made sure I got married in my father's home. And I did everything according to the rules. Because and I know that you. once I'm done, that's then you. That's but you. still, I, you I did alienate him from my wedding. Listen, Lam and Jennifer, you see, this is what we are saying. Every family has its own problems. That is the quote. The truth is that there is no single perfect family on earth. This of Megan course. and uh, Harry, they will still have their own issues, though. Oh, but you see, definitely. I admire those that stick together. You see, amid all of this thing, my point is, granting this interview, I do not see a pretty end game for it. That's my point. I do not see it ending well. Because granting this interview is like coming at, with a sledgehammer and shattering this table. Can you piece it back together? The answer is no. So why Burning do you have to... Burning the completely. Yes. You do not do that even with friends, not to talk of family, that you burn an entire bridge down. You don't do that. So what I expected them to do is, I have cut ties with these people, which is, I 100% back them on that. If you're not giving me peace, I'm going to cut ties with you. But I don't have to Definitely. go out in the public to tell and wash my dirty linen society, outside. Yes. Let me take a comment from Raphael Akori. It says, the royal family, any, any, uh, any, um, everywhere in the world, jealously protect their dynasty. And they are only seen but not heard. She is going to learn uh, from a hard way. That's from Raphael Akori from Zaria. He's always contributing. That's the point. Because if you check what, I mean, you're not marrying just a pushover from, from uh, a roadside mechanic. You're marrying into royalty. There are rules and regulations. That is why they have sustained that, that throne for years, for decades. You understand? M let me tell you something. If you want to build something, right, go and check successful businesses. Successful companies and all of that. They are very firm. When they tell you how the working conditions are, you would know. But somebody has to be tough for that thing to stand strong. Somebody has to be. And you married a boy, you married a prince who is directly in that lineage to the throne. What do you expect? So, um, what Jennifer, you expect? I, I, want like, to, I want to believe, wrap up. See, I want to believe that um, before they granted this interview, they must have weighed all the outcomes because um, maybe we we, 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 we all have we all have our opinions on how it's going to turn out you have said yours other people have said yours um the guy who just um commented has said his and i'm sure that like that thousand and one outcome and let me that tell this, you this this would take and i want to believe or maybe i hope that they actually thought about all this let me tell you something before they granted the interview be it bad, be it good, be it um, midway or whatever. Do you whatever. know that this but child, you have they should be ready. You have deprived the child for the, the right to choose what they want to be or who they want to be. Because this child, if given an opportunity, who t what tells you that he doesn't want to be in the royal family? Do you understand? You have deprived that child. And this history that you are afraid of, eh? at the rate this is going, the history will still repeat itself. Because the mm. child, too, tomorrow will say he wants to do his own. What would you say? Now, I don't know if they found that picture now, where they were, um, uh, what's it called, merging um, Princess um, Diana's pictures alongside with, you know, and they're saying that this is a calculated, these are allegations that are going, right? That this is a calculated um, attempt by the, the daughter, daughters to, you know, almost like put herself in that so that whoever her publicists are, you know, there's another picture again, whoever her publicists are, um, that they're doing a good job. So now you see that the, the, the media is milking this. Yes, she might be genuinely hurt. Yes, she might have been. Now, look at what somebody is saying. That Do you think Megan is neurotic enough to do this on her own? Eh? Or do her handlers put her in this role? Right? So this is what we're saying. That even at the end of the day, when you escalate issues like this, 
right? People will lose sight of the real crop of what even brought about this issue. And they begin to bring up their own agenda. As you are talking your own, you are trying to, to free your mental state. You are trying to be whatever. I want to be free. I want to be that. But somebody else is cashing in on it and milking it. At, 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 what, at, at whose detriment? I think I've spoken too much. Let me, let me hear your final thoughts, I beg. <laughs> no, my final thoughts are just that. They were already free when they indicated their interest of, you know, the part in the family. They gave them the, you know, these are the consequences and all that, and they all worked it out. They gave them a year, and after a year, they still said they still wanted to be alienated. So why the southern branch of the interview? I think that was extreme. That would have, that would do a lot of more damage Thank to God. the already, you know, your yeah, damaged relationship. I think it was a bad thing, but no. I wish them all the best. I wish them all the best. So Jennifer, you have a comment with you. That's from Benson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wish them all the best, honestly, because I, I don't see this ending ending well. I don't see it. I, I, don't I see hope it. they don't divorce. Because let me tell you, say, uh, that is it. Uh, <laughs> let, let's leave that matter. Let's I whatever know. whatever the outcome, hey. they would ha they will have no other choice but to deal with it. That's what? my own. Okay, whatever you do. Before, and I know what family <laughs> play do. I had my family around me. So Benson mm. said, in my opinion, Diana had lots of difficulty um, issues or difficult issues, yet her appeal and show of love was unforgettable. Megan will need to express all her concerns with love that brings unity, if not for Thank herself, you. for her children. Regardless of the pain she was going through, there is always a bigger and better picture. picture. What is the end goal? And my own question to you, Megan, is what was the end? I mean, what's your end goal at the end of the day? What would you truly want? I know you want to be free, you want to be happy, you want to be, you know, and all of that. But what do you want for your children? What do you want for your family and everything? If, if you look at it very well, this route that they have taken, and both of them, Megan and Harry, would it, would it end up in that happy place that they really want? Let me hear your final thoughts, Jennifer. Uh, my final thought is to the royal family, and I really want them to actually sit up and do better mm. we've seen what they've done in the past and what they've been doing in time past and even present and i feel like as a family we should always come together to protect each other no matter what try and protect each other because my skin color is different from yours or maybe i don't agree with your ideas we would not always agree on every issue and every matter but what matters most is the fact that we come back together and we we, we discuss as a family and we are united as one no matter what. So protect your own is as simple as that. I think it's a good one. You know, everybody has a share, a fair share of the blame. Of the blame. Everybody. In all of this. But it's, I mean, I don't want anybody to start painting a picture that some people are more to blame than others, right? So if you, if you, if you, if you have listened in on the conversation tonight, the truth is, what is the end game? If your end game is peace, love, unity, and a family, right? Even without your spouse, I mean, who said something about divorce? Even without your, sp without your spouse, if your end game is to love your spouse and everything, you have to think twice before you do certain things. All right, so thank you, ladies. Thank you, Lamy. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, so ways was birthed from the need to inspire, inform, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started a CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. It's still a big issue. Now, if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you are a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell a friend to keep their eyes on Waze. Now, in case you missed today's quote again, I think I've said it so many times, but here it is again. I know every family has its problems, but I admire those that stick together no matter what. Let love be your guide. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation. Enjoy.